What's up, you guys? This is Her Peter Herfie, and today I'm bringing you guys a new Pokemon narrative on Pokemon Online battle. And today's battle is gonna be an OU tier. I am still using the Corsola on my team, and you'll see Corsola shine in this match. Actually, like, no, I'm actually being serious. It's gonna shine in OU. You'll see. So I hope you guys enjoy. So I'm gonna start off with my Corsola while he starts with the Latios. I'm just gonna stay in, knowing I can take any hit this Latios has. He's gonna go for Draco Meteor, which almost kills me and I'm gonna fire back a mirror coat which is gonna obliterate that Latios which is so funny oh my god like I was laughing so much in the chat it was just it was just hilarious so now he's gonna go into Dragonite and I know the extreme speed is probably coming so I'm gonna switch out and go into my Gengar to take the extreme speed and which is very nice and now I'm really hoping that he's um, banded, so I'm just gonna go for a sub, hoping that he's gonna switch out, which he does go for right here, which is nice. So I'm gonna get a free sub on this Jirachi, which is gonna be very helpful since, uh, this, Jira this Jirachi is gonna be a little bit of a pain, since Jirachis are always, you know, like Thunder Wave and Iron Heads and all that really annoying flinching. So I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Ball just to do a little bit of damage to the Jirachi. He's gonna break my sub with an Iron Head, and I'm gonna go for a Disable, trying to block out, block off the Iron Head, but he's gonna make a smart play and gonna go for the Thunder Wave instead, so um, he's gonna get a paralyze on me before I can make another sub, and that actually didn't really cost me too much because you'll see later on that the paralyze is actually gonna help out quite a bit. So um, now, well, actually, it did kind of screw me up a little bit, but you know what? That's not the point. Anyways, <laughs> he's gonna go back into his Dragonite while I'm gonna go for another sub, knowing he's gonna switch out since he it doesn't look like he has any other moves that can attack me. So I'm gonna just break his multi scale ability with a Shadow Ball while he's gonna go for an Outrage and break my sub. And now I know I can always switch in the Heatran because my Heatran is max defense, max HP, so I know I can take that. And like so many outrages so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna save my Gengar for later and outrage really doesn't do to that much to me being a banded uh, Dragonite so that's pretty impressive on Hedron and now um, I'm gonna opt to just set up stealth rocks right here because I mean it, 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 I can't really do anything to this Dragonite since the only attacking move I have is lava plume and I doubt I'm gonna get a burn on this thing Plus, it's not going to be doing that much damage either way. So, now, uh, his Outrage does end, and I'm pretty sure he's just going to switch out. So, I might, also, I might as well just go for a Lava Plume, because at least it does a little bit of damage to anything. He's going to go into Gyarados, and unfortunately for me, I'm not going to be able to get the burn on this Gyarados, which is going to be kind of annoying, because I'm not sure what this Gyarados wants to do. So, I'm thinking he might either go for Waterfall or Earthquake. So, I'm going to go into my Rotom Wash to take either of those moves, but he's actually going to make a smart playing gonna go for a dragon dance but uh he's still thinking that i'm scarf on this rotom so uh he's not gonna risk uh trying to uh go for a like a like an outrage or anything like that so he's gonna go back into his jirachi well i'm gonna go for the will o -Wisp, trying to burn that gyarados and i do get the burn on the jirachi which is gonna be very nice because iron head isn't gonna be doing as much damage with the have on the attack so now I know the T-Wave is probably coming, so I'm going to switch out and go into my Gengar. And now he, his Drachi is getting to a range where I can, I'm pretty sure I can kill it with one more Shadow Ball and some burn damage. So I'm going to try to go for a Shadow Ball this turn, but uh, he's going to get a flinch on this Iron Head, which is just a huge pain in the ass. This is why I hate Jirachi. Like, why do you use a Jirachi? This is just bullshit. So I'm going to get paralyzed. And now he's going to go for another Iron Head, and now I'm going to get flinched, and then I'm like, okay, I've had enough of this bullshit. So now I'm going to switch out, going to go into my Heatran to take the Iron Head. I take like 2% on the Iron Head, which is just hilarious. So I'm actually getting more HP from Leftovers, which is kind of funny. So now I'm going to switch back out, go back into my Gengar to take the Thunder Wave, because I know that's probably the only move he has, and he does go for it. And now I'm going to predict uh, him to predict my switch into Heatran, so I'm going to stay in to take the thunder wave and i'm gonna go for a shadow ball but i get paralyzed so i can't kill this jirachi just yet so now i'm gonna switch out and go into my heatran no he's gonna go for the iron head because he doesn't want to play any more games with me and now i'm gonna finally um predict his switch uh my switch into gengar so I'm going to stay in to take the Iron Head, and I'm just going to finish him off with the Lava Plume. Wow, that was really poorly phrased, 
and that's last sentence. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> anyways, um, he's gonna go into his Gyarados now, and I'm gonna switch out, go into my Rotom Wash once more, and he's gonna go for the Waterfall just to do a decent amount of damage to my Rotom Wash. And now, uh, I'm gonna go for another Will O Wisp, uh, but he's gonna go into his Titar, and yeah, I do miss the Will O Wisp right here, which is kind of unfortunate, but it really didn't matter too much since I can just go for another Will O Wisp and finally burn this Tyranitar. And a burned Tyranitar really isn't going to be doing too much damage to me. As you can see with the superpower, it doesn't really do anything at all. So now I'm going to go for the uh, Bolt Switch here just to do a little bit a little bit of damage to this Tyranitar, and I'm gonna go back into my Gengar really stupidly, or no, I go to take the superpower, but then I'm like, now I realize that I'm like Pursuit Trap, so I'm like, oh, <coughs> well, this is kind of awkward, so now I'm gonna go for a sub, I have no idea why, I should have just gone for a Focus Blast to finish off this Tyranitar, because, I don't know, you'll see what happens, so he's gonna Pursuit, kill off my Gengar, which is kind of sad, and I'm gonna switch into Scizor, and I get really, really greedy here and think I can just go for a Sword Stance, but he's gonna go for a Fire Blast and kill me off, and I just, I don't know why I didn't see the Fire Blast coming, I think I was just laughing so much from... You know, the course, you know, cause still still on my mind, you know. So <laughs> I'm going to go into my Trachea. I'm just going to finish off this Tyranitar once and for all. And now he is going to go into his Gliscor. And this Gliscor is causing me such a big problem because I can't kill this thing. I'm getting completely walled. He's going to go for a Toxic on me. And that's this is looking really bad for me because my Rotom Wash barely has any HP left. I only have one chance to go for a Hydro Pump, basically. And he's just going to protect this turn. And I'm going to be at about one. HP and I'm like okay I'm screwed you know because I I can't do anything now so he's gonna switch out go into his Gyarados just to take the hydro pump and I do kill his Gyarados but it really doesn't matter because now I'm left with like three physical attackers I against a Gliscor who's I guessing is a walling set so I'm kind of screwed so gonna go into Corsola gonna go for a recover he's gonna go for a toxic on me which is kind of funny um it doesn't really matter that much to me and I'm gonna be back to full HP and I hope Hopefully, I'm going to get a crit on the skull and try to kill this Gliscor, but he's going to be a dick and go for a Protect, of course, just to keep stalling out some more damage on me. And now, I'm, like, I have nothing to lose, just going to go for a Scald. I do live this Earthquake here, which is very impressive, so I'm really surprised, Corsola. Good job, Corsola. But... Unfortunately for me, I don't get a crit on the Scald, and now I know I basically lost this game. So I'm just going to let my Heatran die to Earthquake, and I'm going to go into my Terrakia and just going to go for a Stone Edge, because I know he's probably going to kill me off. And I get a crit on this Stone Edge, and I'm like, what the hell? And I realize now that if I went into my Terrakia first, gone for a Stone Edge, got the crit, and then gone for a second Stone Edge, I would have been able to kill off this Gliscor, then I could kill off the Dragonite, and now I just didn't do that, and now I lost the game, and that's kind of stupid on my part, so that was a great game, hope you guys enjoyed this battle, um, definitely made uh, some really stupid plays that could have made me win this match, but eh, what can you do, I mean, I mean, I hope you guys like really enjoyed that course on the first turn, I know I did, because I was laughing for like the entire game about it, so yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys later, peace.